Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From Melbourne, we are finally here. So this city is known for a lot of things, and one of those is markets. They have markets all over the city that you can check out and explore. Today, we are at the largest market in the city. In fact, this is the largest market in the Southern Hemisphere. The whole Southern Hemisphere. It is the Queen Victoria Market. Queen Victoria Market. And also known as the Vic Market. Oh yes, the Vic Market. This market was originally opened back in 1878, and what's unique about it is that there are a lot of original structures that are still standing, so it gives you a really good idea of what a 19th century market was actually like. Probably the coolest thing though about this market is that in 2003, it was equipped with solar panels, which provide enough power for all of the market's clients, with even some left over. There are apparently over 600 stalls here, and I think it's open most days of the week except for a Monday and Wednesday, I believe. They have everything here. Fresh fruit and produce and meats and dairy and all all kinds of little knickknacks, anything and everything you could desire, and lots of food stalls. Yes, which is what we are mostly after today. Yeah. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about the market as we traverse through it, but uh, we have not had coffee, we have not really eaten a proper breakfast, so that is the first thing on the agenda. Yes, please. This market really does have everything. There's this area here where they have some uh, shops over here and some vendors. There's a fruit area back there. We've seen a bunch of clothing shops, all kinds of stuff. They also have a coffee stand that we are going to check out right now. Yes. I think that's the first order of business. It's supposed to be real good. Although I don't know if you can get a bad cup of coffee in Melbourne, so. Yeah. So we popped into Market Lane Coffee. Got a little nice iced latte. They have all sorts of delicious. You could do just, you know, iced black coffee or all your traditional ones, but it's still a little warm. Summer's hanging on a little bit here, oh, so yeah. this looks beautiful. Of course, they have a lovely outdoor seating area, which is perfect mm -hmm. since it's not too cold yet. And if you get it for here, they give you a, re or a real glass, I guess, so it's yeah. not paper, no waste. Yeah, all we're right. trying to cut down on the plastic and paper that we use because, yeah. you know, you guys know we get a lot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, we do, but nice glass glasses here. This is the second coffee that we've had here in Melbourne. Let me just say, they've both been very good. We got a cold brew at a place we were working at yesterday. And now the iced latte, very delicious. So I think we have scoured the entire market and looked at all the food stalls and we have decided on this Sri Lankan street food stall. It's like one of the first we came across, but nothing else seems to look as good. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited about this. I got the uh, street combo, which is just uh, some rice, some vegetables over here, and one meat, and I ended up going with the goat meat. Gonna get a bite with some of the meat and a whole heap of rice. Oh yeah. Drop some rice. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. You guys, the meat is so tender, it just dissolves in your mouth. It's really savory, well seasoned. See what these vegetables are all about. So we've got some uh, zucchini in there, some sort of squash, I think, and some carrots. Oh yeah. Oh man. It's like a coconut sauce or something on there. Lots of flavor and a little bit sweet. Really nice. This whole thing was only, uh, how much was it, 14? 14 AUD. Yep, and if Which, you did vegan, it was only 12. Yeah, I think probably one of the best deals that we've seen for the amount of food that you get. Totally worth it. I went with, I think it's called the lamb craze dish. It has a lot of stuff in here that I don't know, so I'm gonna read it off to you guys. So I got rice on, at the bottom, and then there is a meat curry. I also went with the goat. I feel like we've probably had goat in our lives, but I can't remember probably. last time we did it, but it sounded very interesting. There's tempered potato in here. I'm actually not sure where. There's a sini sambal, and then eggplant moju, served with an egg and a mini pastry. I think I got the ultimate taste of Sri Lanka in there. Here, I'm gonna try to mix some of this sambal and the eggplant together. Some of that rice in there, oh my gosh. Ooh. With a little spicy, a little pickled, a little sweet, a little sour, savory. It has all the elements that I love in a dish. This is so good. So mine was a little bit more, it was 16. It would have been 14 if you did it vegan, but definitely worth it. I mean, this is a crazy amount of food. Look at this. 
Eric's definitely gonna have to help me eat it. Yeah. <laughs> now that we're nice and full, we are in the section of the market where you find all the goods and wares. And I am on the lookout for a new pair of sunglasses. They've just gotten pretty scratched up recently. These ones just are not quite cutting it anymore, so I'm gonna keep my eyes out for those. Thank you. I have decided on these. What do you guys think? I kept <laughs> it nice and simple. And nice, yeah. <laughs> but they're brown. Usually I just kind of get black ones, or, or Allison picked out those wood frame ones that I used to have, but this is my new look. Looking good, dude. And if you don't like it, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I will kill you. Look at me. I am a shark. Uh -huh. Move over, Jeff Dunham. Uh -huh. So I was thinking of picking up a couple of these before I leave. Yeah, I think uh, what do you think? Appropriate koozies, for yeah. sure. Oh, there oh, we yeah. go. There yeah. we go. That's okay. the one I was looking for. That works. We are getting donuts and I could not be more excited. We will show you them in just a moment. Right now I gotta purchase them. This little bag is filled with five delicious jam donuts. The place is called American Donut Kitchen, although I don't know if these are very American <laughs> donuts. They're, they're more like um, beignets almost. Yeah. Are the shapes, is it meant to be some kind of shape? I think it's just a dough ball. That's a but weird it's, shape. It's hot and filled with fresh jam and then obviously covered in so much sugar. And it's five for six dollars, which is a pretty good steal because as you can see, these suckers are pretty big. We saw that this truck has actually been selling in the city for since the 50s, I believe. So what is that, like almost 70 years? Yeah. That's nuts. And they also sometimes run out because I think they just sell until they're gone for the day or until the market closes. But sometimes they sell out well before the market closes. I was very nervous, so I made Eric run over here. And the little van is so cool because it has windows all around it, so you can watch them cooking in there, or baking the donuts and dividing it all and everything. You can see all the inner workings, it's very sweet. All right, let's give these donuts a try. Oh, Ooh. you got the big boy. Check them out, they There's are nice so and warm. so much sugar, they are really warm. Yeah, they're making a ton of them fresh back there. Yeah, I don't know what kind of jam is in there. It's red, strawberry, cherry, something like that probably. Yeah. So we got a dusting of sugar on the outside. Delicious, warm, oh. donut-y dough. It's so pillowy. Cheers. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man. All the sugar my jam's a little off center. Oh. <laughs> it all went down my shirt. <laughs> The dough is really fluffy, and you can see it's really gooey on mm -hmm. the inside. Right in the middle, there's this gooey layer. But uh, I think it's cherry filling, probably. Mine didn't have so much, I oh, think. Yeah. yeah, so you can see they don't really put that much filling in there, which I think is good. Maybe not good if you don't get any at all, but it's good because I don't love jam in donuts. I just like a little bit of the sweetness. Mm -hmm. I, I really just like the dough. Oh, man, it's nice. Now we've got a whole bag, about three more to eat, right? <laughs> can we do it? We can do it. We can do it. This is a really Instagrammable spot, we're thinking. So we tried to get a little shot of Allison kind of right here in this white spot here. I think it turned out good. I think so. It's a little different. We usually do a lot of landscapey things, but yeah. it's fun. A little donut shot. Yeah, it's kind of retro. Yeah. But we'll put the image on the screen if it did turn out good. But also, uh, just head to the Endless Adventure username on uh, Instagram if you want to follow us up. See how all our little photo adventures are turning out. I think we have officially seen and conquered this market, but before we head out, we have a bunch of goodies that we are going to get. I think I'm going to make a delicious meal tonight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh, almost got me. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. So everyone here is yelling dollar, 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 because I guess now everything's one dollar per kilo. So we're just getting everything. We're trying to get up to a kilo. Nah, half? Half a kilo. <laughs> we're gonna have to get a huge sweet potato to get up to a kilo. <laughs> Let's do this one, I think it's the small. Sounds good. Okay. If you are wanting produce, come here later in the day because a dollar for a kilo 
Look how much we got. I mean, and we had to really try to fill this up. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. We're in the meat hall now, and this is actually the oldest building in the market, still standing. I think it said it was built in 1869. That's wild. Yeah, that's so amazing. A lot of meat has been sold in here. <laughs> Speaking of, we're going to get some meat right now. We were told that throughout the day, people would do discounts on some of their items and that's happening right now this guy's running around saying you get four dollars off a kilo per of kilo, meat. yeah that's pretty good and then i see some other guys with big signs up so keep your eyes peeled because you might get a steal of a bargain is that a word <laughs> Come pure chaos in here. Everyone is screaming, trying to sell their meat. But we did manage to get some lamb chops. Yeah, I honestly have zero idea what they're yelling. So I don't know if we got something on sale or not. No. All right, now we're gonna head home. Dinner is underway. We ended up getting lamb, which I tried to make back in New Zealand a few months ago. It it was okay. It wasn't great. But I think tonight it's going to be a lot better. We got lamb spice oh, yeah. from the market. You can't go wrong with that. We got beautiful Brussels sprouts. I am boiling some potatoes, which in a bit I will smash and then bake in the oven. It's going to be good. beautiful butter to put yeah. on everything. All Ooh. of this we managed to get from the market. Yes, even the beverages we are having while we are drink or while I'm cooking. But everything should be ready in just a bit. All right, dinner is served. Everything turned out really good. The lamb looks awesome. Allison's gonna give it a try, see how it compares to oh, her uh, no. last try. So last time I got really thin slices of lamb and I baked them and I think I over baked them because I didn't know, but oh, look at that. There's still a little pink in there. It's covered in butter and the seasoning. Oh my God. I'm really excited for this. I think I've outdone myself. <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> Dang. Well, now I'm excited. Oh, man. Lamb. That is my new meat of choice. And roasted uh, Brussels sprouts are like my favorite yeah, thing. And they're then, awesome. like, I boiled these potatoes and then smashed them and baked them in butter and seasoning. Whew. It's not the healthiest meal, <laughs> but boy, is it delicious. Well, we are going to dig into this and uh, we're watching Forgetting Sarah Marshall <laughs> right now. We've been watching old comedy movies. I don't know why, but. Uh, it's been a lot it's of been fun awesome. though, because yeah. you watch them when you're really young, you can't really really remember everything. Yeah, so and it's I've, fun. I've realized that most of these movies I've seen on TV, so they're edited out. But if you watch the the original version, you get to see a lot more stuff. Spoiler alert: this one has wieners and boobies in it. <laughs> yes, it does. A lot more than I realized. <laughs> yeah. Today was an absolutely amazing day. We had so much fun at the market. That was yeah. great. The food was great. All of the little shops were so fun to wander through. And by the way, if you guys have been to the Vic Market, or if you're from Melbourne, if you have any of your favorite stalls in the market, let us know in a comment below so other people who are watching this video are taking a trip to Melbourne can yes. check it out. Let us know. Tomorrow, we will be doing something very fun. We're gonna be trying Vegemite for the very first time. I'm gonna be making some very interesting recipes using Vegemite in hopes that we will fall in love with it like you all do. <laughs> We're but... gonna try our best. We're gonna give it a proper shot, yep. you guys. 